This is Steve Jobs. He's the co-founder of Apple, the visionary behind the iPhone, and one of the greatest storytellers of all time. But what makes him such a wonderful storyteller? In this video, you'll uncover five storytelling techniques that Steve uses to tell insanely good stories. But before we go into those techniques, let's first watch this one minute story. Most people don't get those experiences because they never ask. Uh, I've never found anybody that didn't want to help me if I asked them for help. I always call them up. I called up, um, this will date me, but I called up Bill Hewlett when I was 12 years old. And he lived in Palo Alto. His number was still in the phone book. And he answered the phone himself. He said, yes. He said, hi, I'm Steve Jobs. I'm 12 years old. I, I'm a, a student in high school. And I want to build a frequency counter. And I was wondering if you had any spare parts I could have. And he laughed. And he, he gave me the spare parts to build this frequency counter. And he gave me a job that summer in Hewlett Packard, working on the assembly line, putting nuts and bolts together on frequency counters. He got me a job in the place that built them. And I was in heaven. And I've never found anyone who said no or hung up the phone when I called. I just asked. And when people ask me, I try to be as responsive, to pay that, that debt of gratitude back. Um, most people never pick up the phone and call. Most people never ask. And that's what separates sometimes the people that do things from the people that just dream about them. All right, now let's look into the five techniques that make that story so freaking good. First technique, anticipation hook. Steve starts the story with a bold statement that makes us curious right away. Most people don't get those experiences because they never ask. The moment we hear that, we want to know, why do you think that way? What makes you say that? We want to find out what he means with that one sentence. Steve uses an anticipation hook in almost all of his presentations, whether it's announcing a new product, pitching a new idea, or sharing a story. He makes a bold statement right at the start to grab his listener's attention. But the moment he made that statement, he quickly goes into the second technique. Second technique, jump into action. Steve jumps right into the main action of the story as soon as possible. But I called up Bill Hewlett when I was 12 years old and he lived in Palo Alto. His number was still in the phone book. He doesn't waste any time explaining the full backstory. He doesn't tell us how he looked as a teenager or he doesn't describe the furniture in his room. Instead, he takes us right into the action where something happens. He starts the story by saying that he was calling Bill Hewlett. But in other stories, he starts by sharing that he was walking, he was biking, that he was talking anything that brings in forward momentum. But let's now talk about the next technique Steve uses. That technique can turn any average moment into an incredible story. Third technique, surprise. Steve shares something unexpected, something we didn't see coming. And he lived in Palo Alto, his number was still in the phone book. And he answered the phone himself, he said, yes? We're like, what the F? The founder of Hewlett Packard just picked up the phone like that? That's crazy. I could never imagine something like that happening today. That moment made the story much more interesting. And Steve knows that. In almost all of his stories, he shares something unexpected, an unusual activity, an unusual event, or an unusual reaction. Anything that breaks the pattern of what is expected. But now, on to the next technique. That technique is probably the technique that I use the most. Technique number four, dialogue. Steve doesn't just tell us what happened. He gives us the exact words that he and Bill used in that crucial moment of the story. And he answered the phone himself. He said, yes. He said, hi, I'm Steve Jobs. I'm 12 years old. I, I'm a, a student in high school and I want to build a frequency counter. And I was wondering if you had any spare parts I could have. He doesn't say, and then I introduced myself and told him what I wanted to do. He doesn't do that. Instead, he shares the exact words of that moment. That dialogue makes us feel as if we're right there with him, experiencing the story as if it was happening to us. Steve uses dialogue in almost all of his stories because it makes the story feel much more real. But now onto the last technique. And that technique is essential if you want people to take action after listening to your story. Technique number five, takeaway. Up to this point, the story has been about himself. But in the last step, Steve does something to make it relevant for his audience. For ask, and that's what separates sometimes the people that do things from the people that just dream about them. 
he shares the lesson he learned from that experience. That lesson makes us reflect how we go through life and it inspires us not just to dream about things, but to take action. That's it. Those are the five storytelling techniques that Steve Jobs uses to tell incredible stories. If you want to learn more ways how to tell the most captivating stories possible, I would suggest check out this next video in which I share seven years of storytelling in 55 minutes. Enjoy.